I don't even know anymore. It's a midlife crisis, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> it's a it smells spray. weird. It smells like potpourri. It smells like when you go in like an old lady's toilet room and it's just like your little well, bowl of... It's you think an old lady knows how to make her flower smell good. And Tibetan ginseng hydrating mist. No, James, just any ginseng. When are you going to Tibet? To scale. To Find scale the... Nepalis. Actually, there is a, there's a, a photographer I follow on Instagram who does a lot of... Um, like small sea life pictures. She's really good. I forgot what her name is, but she is, I think, went to base camp of Everest in the last few days. Cool. Which was pretty interesting. I, I want to do that. That'd be really cool. So I'm curious to see if I'll need uh, breathing assistance, at least to that point. Base camp would be enough for me. Um, by the way, there is a, a series on climbing, a manga called Summit of the Gods. It's a novel I've heard in, good things about novel that. in manga form. It's really, really good. It's really good. Really good. It's excellent. Great journey. Um, I think I might have the book somewhere. I don't know. I might have given them to somebody because I'm awesome. We are going to another game of Inferno, G2 versus Envy. And maybe Envy can take this momentum forward into this match and continue how they left off versus FaZe. Again, they really need these victories because um, they are in a relegation. They are deep in a relegation zone. Uh, the arse end of the of the league. The arse end of the league. Yeah. So just for the viewers, the derriere, so James, just for the viewers who don't know, auto relegation versus. To clarify, what? What was that? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, like I'm balling out of control. Is oh, that... they put you in the in the wheelchair tank. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a baller. Look Amazing. The track. That's actually a wheelchair. Yeah. That we came across uh, recently. That's really cool. It is Dan's <laughs> birthday today. Happy birthday, Dan. We didn't have Thank the you. money for a tracked wheelchair, but we can do the uh, prize possession. The image. Thank you. So we will be going into a game of Inferno <laughs> at some point. What are, what are these things called again? A Chinese finger trap. So is I it, broke mine. Is already. it one auto relegation and then two fights in the tournament? No, I think it's just two fights. Two in the fight. I don't think I don't think anybody just gets sent sent packing completely. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like like a, what was it? Shockwave flash. You know where it's like not even smooth because it's not enough frames. It's just like you just have to place it in a bunch of places. So it's like that's amazing. Slideshow. Did you guys ever used to watch the uh, Shockwave Flash like Counter Strike movies with yeah. like Stickmen? Because yeah. I did. The, I used the, to watch the lagger of them. and everything. Yeah. They'd have them like skip a whole bunch. Of they have like Lincoln Park like paper cut yeah. like on them. Like... <laughs> okay, can't do that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mixwell has the bomb, and he's the only man left for G2. Securing some money for his team. He's got that cash in the savings account. The interest is high. Defaulted on the loan, James. <laughs> he has defaulted on the loan. They've come. They've taken his kitchen fittings away. His stocks have vested. Soon they'll take his house. Too soon. Let's Prematurely. See. Let's see whether or not... Envious can do what they just did to face. Because they get the pistol again. It all starts with a pistol. I love I love we're gonna see it now. Boom! As he said. Boom. Pat, pat, pat. It's like the perfect is actually the perfect pistol for that specific job because you can get that fast rate of fire. What a brilliant weapon in this game. <laughs> this is uh, yeah. phenomenal. Phenomenal. The form factor is incredible. What do you think of the form factor, James? Of the CZ. I don't know, it's kind of got this weird elongated um, clip thing. Bugger, is it a clip or a magazine? I can't it's remember again. Everything's the guy basically everything's a mag in Canada. Magazine, okay, yeah, yeah. It's the guy even told us, but I just always forget. Always. Dump, like, dump the clip and stuff like that sounds better though. That's probably a name of about 500 rap songs. It's probably, it's probably why, because in rap they always yeah, a lot of rappers get it wrong. Yeah. yeah, the rappers all get it wrong. Stupid rappers. I know, I'm telling you, man. It shows that they're not shooting the guns. I'm telling you, man, what kind of profession is that? Anyway, rapping is awesome. Kenny S. He dead. He died. Not really much you can do from that position. The smoke was really good. And. The round be won by Envious. And they'll keep two players alive. The bomb did go down for G2, though. So the question is, do they want to force buy? Do they want to get the pressure on? Are they, are they going to buy? No, never mind. 
Sometimes the reaches are too great. A regular. Too great for me to it even attempt. Go for a regular. Yeah. I have a pressure cooker at home, and it's one of the best things I've ever bought. Just uh, want to throw that out there. If you guys need a gift for Mother's Day, get your mama a pressure cooker. So we can just like get the gift and keep it or something. Is that? You just keep the gift. Is that what happens? No, I mean it's just this. Uh, everyone, it's it's an amazing gift. You should get one for yourself as well. Scream. Not up to a good start here in round number three. Ooh, Ooh. RPK, spread it like jam, baby. <laughs> that marmalade. Spread it like the finest honey. Mountain honey. I love French honey. Oh, boy. Now I'm back in Europe. Time to get my order game on. Although I have at least five jars of honey in the hole. But I'm a gift giver, Dan. I'm a gift giver. I'm a giver of gifts. The exquisite what? gifts. What do G2? Only the finest gifts. I'm the best present giver anybody who knows me knows. Yeah, if you, you know, Frank, incense, myrrh, and then James swoops in with the jam. I just end it. It's game over when I come in the room. But is it game over for G2 in this round? Looking for their first round. The bomb waiting outside B. Do they have time for this? Body heading towards B to cut off a rotation, but this is predicated on NBK being successful towards A. They have to assume one person is here at least. Ooh, the moonwalking hasn't quite worked out, but what, does, what is the read? Happy thinks it's B. Haji starting to peek, but he doesn't need to. He's just got to wait for the plant. NBK's time being wasted now. Stay alive, Haji. He will stay alive. 3-0 Envy. And the whole Frank Incense and Murr thing, I think that was a bit uninspired. Could try it harder. Get the jam in there. I think gifts are easier now than they are. They, they didn't have Amazon. That is, that is a very good They'll even wrap presents for you. That is true. That is true. I think after that. They had to traverse the desert on camels. Uphill both ways, barefoot. I saw a camel recently. It was very strange. Camels have a strange form factor, James. How close did you inspect their form, Dan? No, well, <laughs> I just, yeah. I just what had, you I had one, 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 one glance. So I didn't know what was going on. I was like, I can't. I need to leave. I was not ready. Maybe one day when I'm older. Oh, Kishima dealing well with the. I was gonna say Glocks, but there's three Eagles. This, this is shot. the thing with eagles. Like you, you, we had this uh, situation previously where phase it wasn't no, it was a uh, oh it was G2 actually G2 on the CT side. They pushed aggressively against just eagles, and they gave them picks in spots which were quite easy for them to get picks. Then the round collapsed because there couldn't be a rotation to be. Here, Envious is doing what you should do and just chilling, making the eagles push into choke points without grenades, and it's much easier. Although they are having some trouble, but. There's no world where Envious will lose this round, so it's fine. They can't. It's an impossible situation. Impossible, I say. My word is law. Four rounds for Envious, zero for G2. Again, Envious fresh off a, a very solid victory on Inferno against FaZe, looking to do the same against a similar opponent, G2. Yeah, they've got to feel good about that one. I mean, you could only imagine. I think, and you know, Envy probably have a really good vibe when they play against G2. I think they always feel probably feel like the underdog, but they also are probably more inspired and understand G2 and how they think. They've got the, the their brains are wired like other French people, right? It's true. There's a lot of wiring going on. Okay. Oh, nice flash there for Haji to make the play safe. Whenever you're designing tactics, always ask yourself the question, how can I make it safe or safer? And a, a nice little flash from a teammate often does the job. Look at all this success Envy are happening. Having. Hap, 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 it's happening. It's happening. 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 It is. Okay, <laughs> I like it when you when, when you kind of like make up a word. I really enjoy that. My favorite is when you correct it with a made up word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exploderized. And that's, that's a real word.
In this studio, it's a real word, at least. Absolutely. It's recognized the world, by the face of dictionary. In the world of James and Dan. We, we write on the parchment. We inscribe on the tablet. The tablet says 5-0 Envy. Me and Riz are our name printed in the tablet. Some Wu-Tang lyrics for you. For Have you ever done any... Years, now we out like beers. Have you ever done any uh, sculpting, James, with a you know, stone, chisel, hammer? Stone, chisel, hammer, no. I have made a bowl, which I still eat breakfast from in London. You're throwing pots? Throwing pots? Yeah. Oh, we, we have thrown some, uh, some pots. We had a moment, an incident where pots were thrown. That is correct. Well, T2, they have the CZs and they're getting a lot of value out of the speed and mobility from those CZs, the wide peaks working out, and my god, what the hell was that? Body, very good shot there. RPK will get a frag towards B, but there's not too much he can do to prevent the A site from being taken. And it really seems like Envious best case here is just to save these two guns there. Money sucks, so... Sad times. They Economic crises. They have been kept honest by their opponent G2, who look to score their first round on the board. Two with just the one, Cedric. I don't even know how you pronounce Cedric in uh, French. Cedric. Cedric, Monsieur, Monsieur. I don't know. Oi, Cedric. Hey, how Cedric. about that? So you do it, James. Mate. Oi, mate. Oh, five one or one five if you're G two. They claim the rounds. Happiness has had smiles on their faces. It's a good time. Good time. Good time alive. to be alive. What a time to be alive. You know that very slow-moving fan in the uh, apartments there reminds me of one of the starting scenes from Apocalypse Now. Didn't watch Apocalypse Now. Oh. But I know what oh, wow. movie it is. Wow. We're in LA. Need, we need more well-versed moviegoers here. I would like to... It's a, it's a classic movie. I haven't watched um, Ex Machina. Constantly reminded about how I need to watch that. I mean, it's, it's a it's a pretty cool movie, and I guess pre presents some cool ideas about AI. Although I don't think it's realistic, but I mean, because the whole, whole thing is about generalized artificial intelligence, right? What about iRobot? Is that realistic? <laughs> I think that's happening. No, it's really funny, the whole um, sort of paranoia around generalized artificial intelligence. Obviously, if you... Th th there is some confliction within the experts in the space. One of my friends is uh, has a PhD in machine learning, and AI is his specialty, and he's been doing it for a very long time, and he thinks it's all bollocks. He thinks there's no that's, that's truth to the fall, paranoia. That's how you get in too deep and don't realize it. It's, uh, it's interesting. I've heard a lot of other experts also discuss the topic at length and, and say that it's not nearly as worrisome as some uh, people would like to to point out. But it's like one of those things which is so incredibly complex. Like no one can say, well, I think this. Because, I mean, it's, yeah. it's so complex. How talking you about can't potentialities, know. right? That so don't currently exist. The singularity. Ooh. Well, oh, that's a, that's a big peak. It's a big, big peak. RPK, the aggression from Envious. They're carrying their confidence forwards. Their confidence is tangible. You can feel it. Feel it on the server. One Spanish man down. Nine French left. Yeah. He was targeted. Scream, again, last, ra uh, last game was doing excellent things from this position, looking to replicate. Is he going to replicate? Doesn't have to just yet. It's going to be Hachi that gets traded out, but Scream has to go back a little bit because Hachi is the guy that watches pits and balcony. So, oh well, plays pit and watches balcony from there. So, but they realize that B is compromised, and Apex waits for them in spawn. And trade is there, but with Kenny S on the post plant, I do not like their chances. Having an AWP post plan on B is basically the strongest position, strongest place to have an AWP. The strongest scenario to have an AWP in the entire entirety of Inferno. It might be the, in the entire game, honestly. 
Like, it's, it, like, you can't miss the shot, really. There's so many easy shots, fully covered, and you can see so far. It's so, it's, it's true. It's, it's such a strong thing. It's so strong. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, four oh, nades. Yes. Four men. Bish, bash, One bosh. Mixwell Span gets eliminated. Down again. That's awesome, because you rarely see that work out as well as that. And that's, that's a big frag to get. Oh my god! Scream out there, in there! Getting the frags, tagging them down, polishing them off. Body bags. Three left though for Envious and for G2. And what is the call here? I like how Envious have only rotated one guy and he's just pushing immediately, just going. It's happy, just pushing apartments, getting the info. He can play balcony, can cover the cross if they were to do that. If, if G2 hadn't moved, I think Happy would just have just sat in the balcony watching the angle towards bench. Um, and then, and then his, you know, his teammates would just held on to B, but G2 do successfully push. So Happy has no choice but to push himself. That is true. I think they really, they felt the frags come in. And they thought, all right, let's go for this. But they so should have kept in mind the pinch. It's true. Sure. Yeah. But I guess maybe there's an argument to for the sort of confidence that they have to just go for stuff like that. And I think it's important historically between these two teams in this matchup specifically that Envious are able to assert their confidence um, and, and to make that work for them. And they're going for the quad HE again. You've got to love it. Will Mixwell get bodied again? <laughs> I, I, I would love for that to be the storyline. Just Mixwell just consistently getting owned. Oh, my God. Oh, he, dear. Yep, he's going up here. Uh, oh, goodbye. here they come. Oh, he's, he's gone past him. Far. And he knows that he's going to have an angle now. Okay. He's, he, they, they hear for four nades, so they know it's four people. It's on like flashes. I see him coming over at once. Ooh, very clean. Pinnacle, the apex. And that's actually why, you know, sometimes, you know, you wouldn't actually want to do more than three players because, and then you would also throw nades down from top mid potentially. That's, that's what some teams would do. But, uh, and then that obviously allows you to slow down the reaction here. But nevertheless, four rounds for G2. Envious with five. Yeah, you could have sm tried to smoke it so that whoever is the one person at A has a big advantage if they really do want to run through the smoke. And um, yeah, part of that is definitely just fast rotating back to A. But they called it out. No one was at bracket to hold it. No one. Right, well. Working. Banana again, G2. And he's playing a more passive round now that, they, now that they have all the guns. And this would be such a, a good round to, to get for Envious. I'm curious how they could potentially get the opening kill. Happy is on the AWP and he's playing Arch. So a really standard setup from Envious. Couldn't be more bog standard than this, really. Envious know that there's no top mid presence. So I would imagine that Happy should float over about now because there's so much in the way of grenades here. Still no response from top mids. The, they're just holding positions, leaving the two players on B to sit here and do the damage. The smoke, though. Is that defensive smoke? It's working out so well. That that has to be a defensive smoke there that Kenny has just ran over. I right. think so, yeah. That was... Okay, it was Kiyoshima's smoke, indeed. That was, that was a great smoke from Kiyoshima. Flash will buy a second or two for Kenny S. But the fake plant didn't go his way. He's been about to peek or no? Happy has to be careful. He will be. Too many questions for Kenny. They definitely should have just pushed all at the same time before he got that bomb down. There's no safe plan for him and there's no way for him to get three kills, three shit, different choke points. A lot of respect being shown from Envy, but those rotations were way too labored. They really just banked on RPK and Keo, holding it down versus five players rushing the shite, and, and they really did. But how come nobody is moving, even if they're spotting top mid, and they have one person just constantly looking all the way down to stairs? Why not try to cheat an extra person over? Where, why do you think it's going to be A? All these questions. 3-2 set up from... Oh, boy. Surprise, he's not dead. 
sure it was two grenades, but only one, one seems to register. Yeah. Kiyoshima holding a flash out. Ouch, through the corner of the wall. RPK now has much work to do. And again, these are long and labored rotations for Envy. A flash into pool. Will help RPK, as you can see, does not flash him. He is protected, but he cannot protect the bomb site. And now they start to trickle in, but uh, there's a two man flank. G2, with nobody lost, are practicing containment around the site. They've got the hazmats on, and the virus is being eliminated. Haji alone. Not sure if he sees Kenny or not. Maybe he came up on the radar. Now he knows. Apex gone absolutely him. Four kills. All entries. G2 take both sites. They are prepared That's for every job. eventuality. This last kill is just... That wasn't supposed to happen. Ding dong. Loving life is Apex. Six to five. G2 looking to secure league placement. Go up the ranks. And again, I, I often say it. You see how that grenade bounced off the right-hand side of the window. It's very easy to perfectly place a grenade behind the sandbag's position. It's good for flashbangs because if somebody's behind those sandbags, they get flashed off. If somebody's holding an angle with an AWP or whatever, they get flashed off. Very, very powerful. Very easy to do. G2 with considerable problems here, as you can see. NV are now on a four versus two somehow. This game's crazy. If they're just going at it bare knuckles. Happy trading places with MBK. Don't call for his teammate. He gets spotted and doesn't see the bomb himself. And somehow, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? That is hilarious. Off he goes. Head first into the floor, into the canvas. He got planted like draws by D'Lo Brown. There's some kind of mind games going on. But respect is earned. But I guess, why haven't Envious earned that? Seven rounds on CT side, they're looking sharp. They've gotten off, they've been doing pretty well on Banana. Even when with, with map control, P2 haven't been able to take sites easily. Ooh, it's cool a deep flash. Block flash. Interesting. Yeah. For anybody behind the sandbags position, Apex will be naded into oblivion. That was a really cool flashbang, though. Notes will be written by Jameson of the Bardolfs. If I could find my pen. If only I could find my pen. Diary's coming out. It's always good to have a couple of looks at Banana for the different times and places at which it's taken. So you want to give up Bod Banana, that's fine. No body jumping out of balls, but gets caught off by Scream, who makes it two. Last bullet. Knew no nothing about it. Marvelous. Round number 13. It's been a very good bracket player who now realizes his job is done. Full passive setup apart from Happy. There seems to be a little bit information hungry. <coughs> oh no. That's an that's that could be an easy op frag. Risks must be taken. There goes the bomb, and now it may be a question of saving for Kenny. Oh, 10 seconds to try and save his weapon, but he can't do it. Round number eight for NV. Do you want the second AWP? Apparently, no. Two rounds remain now. G2, their money is broken, so do they force it up and try to take two rounds, or will they settle for one? Oh, that was... I can't say the word, but it was nice. I enjoyed that. That was beautiful. Four Deagles, indeed. They will pretty much fight for a uh, round number six as opposed to round number seven. Flashbang, Kishima spotting the second player mix for late, but spotting and spotting he will do. 
So the three-man push from Envy at the beginning of the round on Banana, and they have secured that for the time being. They'll leave Sappy in situ. He has a smoke grenade and an AWP. Meanwhile, the numbers will be slightly thinned. Scream taking body out of contention. Out of the round, out of the game. The Molotov allowing a safer peek. Scream can peek wide and it is limited where the, the T's can stand close because of the Molotov. Now Apex tries to get uh, some stats. The bomb is secure, which means Happy's push isn't too terrible. This is not concerning. He can hold the angle while RPK has a look. And there we go, 9 to 5. Envy doing something on Inferno. Again, these are much needed wins for, en for Envy. Still at the bottom of the table, the bottom rung of the ladder. And the ladder does not look very stable for them. It's shaky, it's rusting. Its integrity has been compromised by the L column. Many L's have been taken by Envy so far. Oh, Mixwell trying to do his best to scream impression. And he will be taken out early. Again, three players, and he only sees one of them. So it's not even like Envy can necessarily try to make a fast play in response. That is something I do wonder about. If you see, for example, if you hear, rather, three HEs go down banana, is there a fast play you make, maybe with a flashbang burst towards top mid? Where do you expect the other two players to be towards the A site? What? Sequasa. Please explain Kiyoshima. NBK and Kenny, last men standing, two versus three. Lots of spray coming in from these rifles. Four AKs on the five remaining players. Two coming in from NB. They see NBK. So many places. One big target. Now Kenny in one versus two. Knows that many plays are towards the arch position. Grenades flying in, waiting for the smoke to go so we can see what he's doing. Oh, he's got a nice angle and happy, but he can't quite get the taps of free fire coming in, but still. The gods are not being... Uh, Kind to him. Finally, Kishima taken out. Kenny now one versus two, running past the angle. Happy trying to reposition the pop flash. And he has no idea that Kenny's behind him. That is just rude. Round number six for G2. 17 for nine, Kenny. Very nice stuff from him. We move to the pistol round. <laughs> this is just some fun between friends. <laughs> I do wonder if there was a smirk on Happy's face once he uh, had that done to him. All Kevlar for the CT side. RPK and Happy with some Granate. Granate! I'm helping you, James. I'm support. Angry Dan on his birthday. I'm angry. Aging! No one likes aging. Aging. We age aging. every day. We age every day. No, we don't, I'm James. sure this studio is covered with your dead skin, Dan. Yeah, it's probably this everywhere, isn't it? What are you going to do about that? Hope he has someone figuring that out. By the way, MBK, he's looking to make a lot of dead tees on this bomb site, and it's not going too successfully initially, but the recovery is there. The frags are made, the headshots are found. And now Kiyoshima occupies MBK's position. He does the dance, the dance of death. Nothing's connecting. That's frustrating, isn't it? I've all been there. I feel like there's a point in time where the USP just stopped working for everyone. Like after the, like one of the last pistol updates, where they made the Glock one bullet, like first bullet accuracy better, but then like worse on the spray. And then I feel like at that same update, it feels like the USP is worse. But maybe it's just, maybe I'm just think, just I think making just it up. You. Might just be me. But I feel like it you is tough. Trade us. You've got to the P2000, haven't you? No, I will, yeah. <clears throat> I really like the P250 though. I pretty much buy a P250 in every pistol around and just buy nades or drop P250s to other people too. And uh, I have a, I have so much success with it that it's I just have to keep doing it. It's just it's very successful. The P250 on the pistols. <clears throat> the cable gets mixed well down, and that is a good start for Envious here, <laughs> considering what they have. RPK, he's done some damage. He's created an opportunity for his teammates to gather weaponry, upgrades. Happy, instead of having a spare hand, now both hands are occupied because now he's got a submachine gun instead of just a mere Glock. <clears throat> so, what is the play here for G2? Because 
Well, they decided to just stay passive, and that is essentially all you can really do from this position. It is MBK, he's got a FAMAS on the B site, trying to anchor that, and he sh can probably do a good job by himself, but all these players do have helmets, which will make things a bit more difficult. This is honestly an awful look, because all MBS need to do is just go five into a bomb site with a good smoke and flash. And no matter which site they choose, as long as they don't, as long as their spacing's good, they're fine. They've spotted one player towards construction. Kishima's on his own. Ooh, there we go. Now what do they do? Okay, I was going to say one known versus one unknown. <coughs> but they uh, quickly saw where Kenny S was. And I think that is sometimes a decision that needs to be made. You know where one player is. You don't know where the other player is. So do you choose to go against the known? And use a numbers game and trying to, to abuse your advantages? Or do you go versus the unknown? who maybe uh, cuts you off while you're making rotation, could be anywhere on the map, through second mid and so on. I generally favor the known versus the unknown in that respect. But it is situational if you're carrying the bomb and so on, things like that. But I prefer the known to the unknown. That's my jam. Yeah. It's a good kind of jam. No one likes the unknown jam. If you like spam. Unknown meats. Spam by definition. Unknown meats. Where did it come from? What is it made of? The assumption is it's meat, but who knows? G2 <clears throat> on the pistols again, and life is hard. Hardships are being experienced. Haji pressing the issue, putting Apex in a shallow grave. And RBK is on the bomb side. Oh, that's very, very nice. Very fancy. Why so fancy, MBK? Unfortunately for G2, it might be too little though, considering the strongs, the strongs, the strengths, <laughs> the strongs, the strengths of the positioning of Envious. It's not a word I coined it. The lovely sound of the burn, burning grounds, the flames. Therapeutic, like the sound of running water. Like the sound of connecting a deagle headshot. Satisfaction. No satisfaction to be had for Kenny S, except maybe another one deke. Which he may be able to find. He's trying to catch these plays, he's trying to pin them into the site. If I'm going to go down, I'm taking you with me. But I'll be safe, so you can be safe as well. Oh! Did someone die? No. I think Envy will be tied with Virtus Pro if they win this match. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing on the microphone. I you're you're correct because VP is five and ten, and Envy are now are currently four and ten. I think. Pretty sure. I would bet some money on that. Excellent. Is that a use on Mixwell? I see. I think it is. He's done it. P250 has a mod quite nice. Yeah. Well, it's nice. It's not quite nice, but it's nice. It's not, not what I would choose, but it's okay. Yeah, there are nuclear threats out there. The whiteout's out there. <coughs> oh. Okay. How does he not pull the knife out? So there's many ways where he could have got the frag there. <coughs> Uh, he will opt to not get the frag. That will be his decision. 12 to 7. Envious looking good. Nice. One of the only one of those bullets connected. Apex, come on, come on, man. That's just. He's not trying, is he? He's not trying there. Anyway. Can he as well? Look down middle for a moment before being flashed off the angle. Diligent play by and it's, it's, it's a it's a flash you have to throw. So you can see the way that they're flashing these angles forces Kenny S back. Two hundred dollars each time, so that's four hundred dollars to push Kenny S from top mid to the site. So you know when you put it like that, when I put when I put it like that, it's definitely a good argument to know how to flash those positions. Oh, he's got all the way around the side. What a sneaky. Sneaky man. 
flashes there for Mixwell, but the frag is not four on four now. Seen quite a few smoke kills today, but maybe this is one NBK won't get. Not yet, anyway. Reloading around the pillar. Kishima picked off. Haji soon to follow. That's the bomb now with Apex. Apex just... He is a human tank, isn't he? Happy now. Around the corner from the bomb, but he knows someone must be holding this angle. There we go. NBK taken out. Kenny's made his way towards mid. Not retrieving the bomb just yet. Trying to catch someone out of position. And Kenny turns the corner just as Happy does. And now there is a French sandwich. Perhaps a spot of Gruyere cheese. Swiss, of course. What kind of honey would you put with Gruyere cheese? I, I I wouldn't put honey with Gruyere cheese. I um, There is this restaurant by Tower Bridge with a deli attached called Le Pont de la Tour. And they, had, they used to have nice baguettes with some Gruyere cheese and some green bits and bobs. I forget. There was something that contrasted very well with Gruyere cheese, Dan. But you regret you asked now. I know a cheese place <laughs> in Piccadilly Circus and it's super good. Get sandwiches from there sometimes. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. That place is awesome. It's what on German Street. I've forgotten the it's name. It's on German Street. Paxton and Whitfield? Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. That place is amazing. You walk in, just, you just smell the finest of cheeses. It's all kind of cheese in there. Your hunger, your, your appetite is, is then very much a problem. Spot of stinking bishop. Oh boy. No! Ow. He's fine. Oh my god, hell. He's fine. So, we've got G2 moving a third player into that B bomb site. They're ready for the B hits, but it's not to be. Ha 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 ha. Look at my words. Hey, two brutes. Kishima waiting for this. Nice off angle. Oh, Kenny has still managed to get the shot. Very. Very good stuff from Kenny S. And look at the timing of the information play, around 50 seconds. It's perfect from G2. Really solid play. Allows the rotations to come in. Body defense, Hachi's jump as well. Trade is there though, but G2 are definitely on the Bosh. winning end of this one. Yeah, the information play was perfect. Just as you mentioned, they were so impressive versus NIP in that regard on their CT side. So, wouldn't be surprised me if this game is not over for Envious, who just beat FaZe on this map somehow. Just took down a giant. Pistols for Envy. Three flashbangs. What can they uh, hope to do with them? Well, they can flash Kenny off the angle. But he'll go back to the well once, twice. Yeah, this is not the easiest shot to make, but he'll make it look easy. And also, if somebody, again, comes from um, second mid through the crawl space, then there is a wider area they can be in. Kenny's ready for it, though. Mixwell, maybe looking for a pot flash player burst through the smoke. He'll stay close. G2 lie in wait for what remains of Envy. Kiyoshima less. Ooh, this smoke is going to go to the front of the site. I throw pretty much the exact same smoke. It's lined up between the uh, the spire and the bubble on the top right hand side. And that's exactly where it lands. It's a nice smoke because if there are somebody standing in a coffin position, they can't see the T's unless they go wide. So you can creep forward with it a bit. But um, it does leave a tight angle to be sprayed through. So if you are a recipient of that smoke, if you're by those coffins, then you can just spray that slight corner by the wall and there's a fair chance you'll take someone out. No, it might be a cheap eco strategy to throw that smoke and then throw a Molotov to Emo or Darker Shadow or whatever you call it and execute that way. Because I remember there was a... Mouse ports throw that smoke too. And the one thing that works against it is having someone op from emo, because you can still see the cross very well. But if you threw a molly back there, you might erase all the best angles. Flashbang would be half the price. You can plant in that smoke. But you can also, if you have the numbers and you make some if some of you make it to, towards the pool, then in most places in the pool, if you crouch, your head can't be seen. So it does compromise where the CTs can defend from. So there, there are some things you can do with that smoke. I like to throw it as a, as a lurker um, because I know what angles the CTs are likely to take around it and so on. Wow. That is quite the shot, enough about me. 
Yeah, look at Apex go. He wants to get it all the way in there. Oh, oh, that's nice. Straight to the face. His face is gone. It, was ne it never was. It moved from existence. And the history books, no. that was such a shot from Kenny S. But he's alone now. He needs to do stuff like that much more often. Nice smoke. But Kenny S will flash himself through. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Hachi does manage to turn around in time. Envious 13, G2 10. How did they lose that round? He got like the so he got such important kills just now. There was Guys, a two-man CT nice. push. Boom. If you watch the radar, they go through apartments. RPK takes him out here. You see on the radar, <laughs> one goes. There's the other oh one. Oh my god! Wow. Sorry to interrupt you, James. That was it was too good. It was it was nice. I don't know how you you hit that. That's that is. Select Kenny as a character. Select screen. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Kuma though. He's hidden. Glass cannon. Oh. Nice by MBK. Nice. Clean snap. Snap. Okay. It's a good start for G2, considering their grenade situation. They definitely do want to be getting that first pick. Maybe it's starting to go towards the apartments here, and maybe they'll just go for a balcony pop, but G2 with four players on A already, and something you mentioned before, Lorna, is they've been really good at understanding exactly like when to have four players on A. It's uh, they, They've been four as well. Oh, they are fighting for it. They're doing it better than anyone right now. That's awesome. They do it right away. They're making it look so simple. Sub one minute's mark. CTs have been forced away from top mid. However, there are four of them towards the A side, which seems to be the right place at the moment. That said, Envy are looking towards Banana, perhaps to show some presence with the time they have on the clock here. 39 seconds on the clock and flashbangs are heard at the bottom of mid. Bottom of Banana. That will send Apex back towards the B-bomb site. Hmm. Bomb in the middle of mid with 25 seconds left and that is quite the journey from Happy. <laughs> It's going oh. the wrong way. Yeah, it's sad for him to be taken out in that fashion after moving out there. Because you can see now his teammates, they're sort of just moving in the same positions and Abby was not able to accomplish much. Two orbs though remain for G2 and denied. Doesn't know whether or not he can go for the defuse straight away. Unsure where Hanji is, but with no one showing, it's an easy, easy assumption to think that the last player is in the balcony in the apartments and that's correct. They definitely called it for Happy to get peaked at um, from Arch. They just had to be in position. That was the only that was a key key thing for G2. And they did a Envy did a lot to try to get them uncomfortable and moving around. So it was close. That was kinda like the running credit card thing where you jump out halls and then just go back to mid and use that to either come back to A or go to B but make it seem like a fake. It's become somewhat common to do. And they almost got away with it. Almost Almost. Almost. Almost is not good enough, though, for Envy if they want to get off the bottom of the leaderboard. Almost just will not do. They needed all the wins today to make land. They've lost one, and they still need all the wins to pretty much secure themselves uh, escapement from the relegation area. Now, if they lose this one as well, it's not guaranteed. So this is the bolts esque smoke. Onto the balcony. It doesn't collide with Body, otherwise that would have been a clue. And you can see Body has a gap actually. Oh, the horse poppy's ready for it. 16 bullets in the mag. He's getting a clue. He's getting a clue. Speaking of clues, can he just guess one as well? It's <laughs> a pretty big clue. Well, this has gone quite well for G2. Oh, mix all. Yeah, there you go. Finish him off. Finish him off. Surely there's a weapon. That's, that's ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> you can really see the spray control from that. I I res yeah, I respect that. He's been practicing. Five bullets, but when they reach a destination, because of the fall off, they land as potatoes. Potats. Potato tarts. I've never thrown a potato at someone. Really? Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised. You say really, Dan. I'm actually surprised because I feel like that'd be pretty good as a missile. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, 
That's some nade damage right there. Hello. Oh, body block. Hello. Okay, well they will be successful. I actually thought that that would be guaranteed two kills. Body on the flank with the MP7. And he knows that they haven't pushed it into the B site, so he has to be cautious. But when you're playing a really good team, you have to be... You have to understand that this could be a possibility. Because as soon as G2 understand that it's a lot of players towards Banana, the risks for them to push the other side of the map becomes... It becomes way less risky. So they're going to do it to get more information and to get better positions. And just as Body did there, so... That's one thing you have to be wary of against the best teams. They'll take every chance they can to push. And Happy, speaking of pushing, looking to, to uh, do the Lurk play uh, towards A, which is really smart in this situation, although he's the only guy with health on the team. He needs to get the kill here. Nice. Okay, that's big. Now, what do they do here? Do they l allow Happy to... F okay, they're not going to run a fake. Keep it simple. The bomb makes it around the corner, and Haji is in the apartment with a second smoke just being deployed now. There are two Molotovs to boot. Double orps. How do they get an opening? NBK very late away from B. They all have kits, these players. Oh my god, are they saving? Wow. I mean, it does go to 14, so at least it's not for match point. They can drop for the other for the other two, so I guess that has a lot to do with it. NBK and Kenny can drop some weapons, and they'll have a really good buy. Sometimes I wonder if, you know, if they looked at how much health was remaining, would they go for it? Would that change their decision? Or would they think, oh, okay, just the after plant spots are too strong? With two orbs. Three is tough. Maybe if they had two rifles, I don't know if they knew, but even That's now, it's very difficult. <laughs> Kirishima died in the apartments. That is amusing to me. Because their money is not really in a place where he could, he could afford to die there. Tactical from Envy. Envy Two is rounds away from victory. Look how susceptible they are to the reset. If G2 win this round, G2 will be on 15, 14, mm. most likely. They've been doing really good in the or early round normally. So G2, you can you can, you can see more and more thing, more and more reasons why they might want to just kind of start over as long as they have nades and they have their ops. I'm sure but they feel less scared than Envy do. Starting the round off right. That said, That's if sad. they lose this, it's over. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. It's all on this one. That's true. It's all on this one. Oof. All these documentary names. Almost. The, the envious documentary. Yeah. The envious story. Right then, this is a key round for both sides. For all concerns. In case of aggression, hold these positions. Put your head in your laps, your hands over your heads. We'll take a more aggressive stance. Brace. Molly's flashbangs. Early delays for Envy. Nothing to be too concerned about. They will expend, exhaust the uh, inventory of their opponent. I like this from G2. Is that an AWP in the apps? Yes, Kenny is in the apps with the AWP. Mixed well Arch with the FAMAS. You can't you, you can't trade this. You can't trade this, right? Ooh. Okay, well body will get the spray for both, but but yeah, it's very hard to trade that, which is why it's very strong. It's a risk because it does mean that other parts of the map are a bit more open because you can't hold the angles with AWPs, but there's two AWPs, so it's very strong. Oh nice trade from Haji. They need a lot more than that though, and they are not going to get it with Mixvault dropping the bomb from Scream. Perfect! Wow. Haji exposes his position, expecting a peek. They see his legs. Trying to make a play. Ooh, some pre fire there, but really, what can be achieved here for Envy, not a lot. Perfect play in the apps from the CTE's end. That puts the money in a weird spot for Envy. Very weird indeed. Yeah, they're in a, a really awkward spot now. What kill here were you saying? Could it be? Were you saying from the T's protector or the CT's protector? Oh, the CT's perspective. Like, you, like when an AWP is sitting on the angle in apps, you can't really trade it. It's, it's because they just they take the shot as you peek. Unless you get a perfect pre-fire, you know, you, for a headshot, which almost no one's going to be doing, 
the Orpa gets a shot up first and then falls behind the cover. So it's that's that's the strength of Orps. It, they can create untradeable frags. And uh, so in the apartments, it's particularly dangerous. I think you don't expect the Orps to be there. It's kind of like on Mirage on the, the B apartments as a CT side, getting the Orpa there to open some rounds where you've been abused previously. Default positions down for the Orpas. Arch for Kenny. And, and uh, MBK is holding B alone, as he often does. I say alone. Apex is somewhat with him. He's sort of in a floating position. He's a flotation device. He is a buoy. He's a purple, a bright purple orange armband. <laughs> for an infant, perhaps, Haji taken out. The bomb is alone at the top of mids, and uh, G2 are getting pretty savage here on both sides of the A bomb site. Is a trade there for Body. He can bide his time in the four versus two. Ding dong. Body annihilating with a multi frag once again. 14 apiece. And what a sick day from Kenny S. Oh, they invested in that? They invested all their money in that round? That's really weird. Really so. Why'd they do that? Oh, I guess they. I guess they didn't want to get <sighs> allow GT to get a 15, I suppose. Did they yeah, get an no, extra they wouldn't have, though. I mean, why didn't they just save last round? D so they would. Uh, they wouldn't have had a good buy here, I think. I guess I get two buys instead of one and a half. But they're not even buying. Because they're buying next round. That Mine. is really weird because it, does, it doesn't make sense. To, it doesn't make sense to force by last round and not force by this round almost. I guess. Well, they, I they only need to win one of the next two rounds. Worst case scenario. So. Yeah. They could have done that. Like they get one full buy no matter what. They're gonna save one of the three rounds, right? So, why would they pick this round to save? Either way. G2 are going to be uh, pretty happy with how this is going. Goodbye. Oh, that those nades were fantastic. Ruben Sandwich. It's meaty. Who's Ruben? I haven't met him. I don't know anyone called Ruben. Actually. Is, is there a pastrami on a Ruben? I, I knew so, yeah. I knew one guy called Ruben. I went to school with a Ruben. What happened to him? I don't know, maybe it became a sandwich. What was his life trajectory? <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we what are really funny kind of guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're so funny. <laughs> we are really... My brother's really... dog was named Ruben. It's always confused me with sandwiches. It's a little Shih Tzu. Does it, does it make you look at the dog differently? look like a Roomba. <laughs> Shih Tzus are like Roombas with fur on them. What's oh, a Roomba? I, I Roomba is the thing that goes around your room. It's a little disc and it, it's like a vacuum. Oh, right. That's what a Shih Tzu's like. It's like a broom. Those no things are expensive. Roombas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are not cheap. And I'm like, I can't imagine they're that worthwhile over like a Dyson. It seems weird. They're like, they're, they're stupidly expensive. And if they like slurp up a ketchup packet that's on the floor, then you just get ketchup everywhere. <laughs> why would you have ketchup packets on the floor, Lord? Well, you what don't know. That's why you? you're just having an automated cleaning device. Why don't you just get a bottle of ketchup? It's not my house. You, I have no you Roomba. Not, you're in McDonald's, Nor do I have you? You're one of those guys who takes all the, the packets of I sauce don't, from McDonald's. I don't even favor ketchup over other condiments. Taking raw sauce to a new level. Okay. <laughs> Roomba 890, $438. That's ridiculous, funny. isn't it? Luminal. That's half an iPhone. That's a joke. There's some that you get for 300. You could buy a Dyson and have change. Oh, iRobot is an iRobot one. $600. It's just silly. iRobot I robot branding, $600. That's Will Smith's face spinning on my floor. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny S. Oh, Ooh. there he goes. He says, no. No, no, no. If this is to be a loss, this is going to be a devastating one for Envy. But they are fighting back or trying to. <laughs> Actually, he's not done with this just yet. And now he is alone. Slow flank coming in. Now both CTs are top mid. And do you wonder if they'll choose to, well, if the bomb was down, if they would go together. Don't see it so often, but it is a, an interesting strat. Oh. But there it is, 16 to 14, G2. Stop Envy advancing from the bottom of the table. Well, yes. I mean, G2 had a great day today and yesterday. And even though Envy has, dip, Envy has to be playing really well. And Hachi, Hachi, every time I see him on Inferno for Envious, he's really good. And I think if, if nothing else, you know, I think people will look at Hachi and be like, this guy is actually very legitimate. And then, this envious project fails and the players are dispersed. He's a great pickup for, for a French team, so 
maybe he could be in uh, a lineup with Existence. Who knows? Yeah, his resume is not too bad. Unfortunate for Envy. Strong lead the entire game, really. I yeah. mean, 5 0 start, 12 to 7 here. All those pistols. Ah, uh, this is a sore loss. Kenny, sore yes. Loss. 35 kills in regulation. Yeah. yeah. Kenny has had an amazing game. He has had an amazing day. All of the games he's played so far today, a loss in front of as well. He was doing an excellent job. And, but it's actually going to be Apex. Apex with all the frags. Wow. Oh, There's more sorry. ADR, too. I think, I think that's the most damage in normal time now. 34, 98 damage, two away from 3,500, which we haven't seen. So uh, that's got to be that's got to be the most, surely. And now we see G2 moving into second place. And uh, now it's about bragging rights for them as they look to get 36 points. Envy down there with 12. So Envy have three games left, which means they can make it to 21 points. So there's still a slight chance that they escape this position. But how likely is it? Only time will tell. And time will take us to Nuke after the break. So stay tuned. We've got one more game of European Counter-Strike coming your way.